Hello everybody, time for a new video. Uh, unboxing video today, no shaving. As you can see, I need a shave, but I thought I could do it tomorrow morning. I used my glasses today because I'm gonna do an unboxing and I'm sorry about these lights, they flicker in the in the in the glasses here. But before we start, I'm gonna pour a gin and tonic. You know this man? Ossi Osborne. Ossi Gin is a plastic bottle. Strange, but that's it. Uh, a gin from Ossi Osborne. I pour a small gin and tonic. Not much this time, just a little bit. Do it like just a small one. Nothing, nothing fancy. I have no eyes and nothing, but I know this is good stuff. As you can see, that's just a a little bit left to my wife. I'm going to use Schweppes tonic. Um, this is zero sugar. Works actually really great. My wife don't like soft drinks with sugar anymore. She always have with zero su sugar and uh, I will learn to drink that too. <laughs> it works great for me. Just pouring up a little bit and cheers should put some ice there but I don't have any ice okay let's start the unboxing instead uh, today I went to the mall here in Kvasta just uh, nearby where I live and uh, I actually found so things in the boutique uh, uh, called Normal, it's just a lot of, what do you say, cosmetic things and soaps and a lot of garbage actually, but <laughs> I found this pack of Wilkinson Sword, 15 Swedish crowns, I looked it up, 1.6 dollars, so not so expensive, gonna use it someday, but not today as I told you. And the other big nice thing I found there, very interesting for me to see what it is. You're going to see a photo here. As you can see on the photo, I'm going to talk over this photo. The photo will be uh, over me here. Uh, <coughs> it's a set with, you can see on the photo, for 246 crowns. So that's about $26.14 dollars for a whole set and uh, only for that razor it's 67 crowns and that's 7.12 dollars so i bought this set i'm very curious what it is i looked at it it says gentleman's barber shop uh, and there's a brush a stand and a razor d razor and some information here uh, in different languages what it's uh, supposed to be in and there's a picture with uh, the stand eraser and the brush and a bowl and razors um, so we shall see what this contains and there's an explanation how to lower a D eraser uh, I know everybody of you knows it a little bit tape there I'm gonna use my cutting tool you American guys always use Back knife, so whatever you call it, is flicking up this knife. I'm gonna flick up straight razor, <laughs> a Swedish straight razor, Sivi Hellestrand. This is not honed, it's sharp enough to cut this tape without no problem. But I'm gonna fix this up and hone that bad boy up. So I'm gonna use a straight razor as a cutting tool today. So let's see what this contains and how these things look. The idea was first to do an unboxing and then to shave, but I thought I could keep this unboxing for a while and see how it looks and use this stuff tomorrow morning. Cheers. Let's pick up. Yep, yeah, there is a bowl. Gonna put these things on the shelf here. Here is a stand. And then let's unpack those things and see, and now it's empty. Nice little box for that price. I hope it works. <laughs> oh, there is one blade in it too. Double edge blade says here. Uh, gonna use it tomorrow, as I told you. A small bowl, very small, but you can actually ladder with it, I think. It feels maybe stainless or something, I don't know. I think it's stainless. 
I was in the website and looked at that. Uh, what have we had that um, gentleman's barbershop? Uh, yeah, gentleman's barbershop. Dot eu, and there was no information at all. There was a picture of that stand and so on, but I could see that it is uh, this is from Amsterdam. Uh, nothing else. I couldn't read any more of it. Uh, here is the plastic seat bag with a stand in it, stainless stand looks like, and the razor, gonna put that away outside, and the brush outside for so long. I know it takes time this unboxing because I'm not gonna do anything more than unboxing. Actually really pretty, in my opinion, polished chrome or something, uh, with some nerves here, and a holder for the brush and for the razor, and with a screw knot up there. Uh, looks, in my opinion, actually real nice. So let, let's put it there for so long. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move away this straight way so I don't damage this. I'm gonna put it in the box and uh, put this box away. Like that, sorry. <laughs> Cheers. Let's try out that uh, brush and open it up. It is said it was a synthetic uh, vegan brush, so they have to be a synthetic. Some plastic, some paper. Can you hear me talk when I do like this? Of course you can. <laughs> Sorry. Feels a little bit heavy. Uh, nice polish to it, as you can see. Really nice polish. Uh, I think I think these are chromed at least. I could, don't know if they can polish that up like that. It's chromed. What could it be? 24, 2 millimeters maybe? You're not. Feels actually really nice. The bristles feel a little bit thick, but they are synthetic. Here it's soft and nice. A uh, little bit backbone to it. So it's going to be interesting to see how this brush works. And now the razor paper around it. And uh, the razor looks like this with the knurlings. This is not heavy, very light in my opinion. Uh, I don't know if this is good, it's chromed at least. Let's pull that out and see. Nice threads at least. Bottom plate and top and cap. Let's see the bottom plate first. Looks like this. Machine, of course, uh, chromed. Looks looks nice, but I don't know what it is. What kind of this feels like aluminum or something? Not aluminum, something very light at least. And the top cap looks like this, very nice chromed, uh, with a post here to hold the blade in place and the screw and everything there. Looks great. Looks nice. Nothing fancy over it. Uh, let's try to load the blade and see how it feels. This is double wrapped, as you can see here. Double wrapped. It's a long unboxing, just for this small thing. Sorry about it, but what the heck? Why not do a long, long unboxing sometime? Double wrapped, as I told you. And it looks like this. A little bit of glue didn't stick. No information on the blade at all. I have to try it, of course. Take the top cap, put the blade in there, like that. Seems to be nice fit. Take the bottom plate, put it over like that, and take the handle. It totally feels very light. I don't know if they are drilled all the way through, so it's hollow inside. I don't know, but it feels very light. I couldn't find any information about this, uh, sorry. And it uh, seems to be aligned right. If I loosen it up and see if there's so weakly. No, it feels great, it feels tight and nice. Uh, with protection bars, uh, so no open comb, close comb. Uh, no idea how this will work, but it look, in my opinion, it looks great. Uh, not the fanciest, but it looks great. 
And the stand, I think, is really nice. Some uh, filthy thing here, so it feels soft on the on the table. You put it on whatever you want to put it, and here are the set. Looks nice. Looks great with a nice little small ball. So uh, I'm going to try this tomorrow. Uh, this set uh, and see if it's worth these $26, something like that, and uh, see if it's worth the money. At least my th I think it looks pretty, just, but it's chromed, nice polish, nice finish, really nice finish you know, on, on, on everything. But we shall see tomorrow how, as you can see, it's really nice chromed. We're going to see tomorrow how it feels to use this brush and this uh, razor. But in my opinion, yeah, why not? For a beginner, maybe. But tomorrow we shall see. I'm going to use that blade. I don't want to use it today. I'm going to clean that up. Those that brush. I'm going to use that brush once or twice with the soap and rinse that off so it's clean. And I'm going to disinfect everything before I use it because in these days. It's better to be safe than sorry, so uh, I'm going to clean it uh, to tomorrow and tomorrow morning I'm going to do the shave because I need a shave. I'm going to eat some food in a moment and watch a movie and do the shave tomorrow morning. So, tomorrow we shall see what I think about this set from uh, gentleman's, gentleman's barbershop.eu. I'm going to put the information on the, on the description too, so. If you're interested, go to the website and look. It's from Amsterdam at least, but I couldn't find any information about it. I think it's some kind of stainless steel, some parts and so on, because it looks so. It's chrome at least. Now I'm not going to mumble anymore. <laughs> Thank you for watching everybody. See you tomorrow. Have a great, great uh, Saturday evening and see you. Bye bye.